member for Windsor to come see. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health. Good morning, Minister. Speaker, four people died from a drug overdose in Windsor within a 24-hour period last weekend. Four. Some say as many as 30 other users overdosed, but their lives were saved. Fentanyl is one of the suspected causes. Speaker, the government has put an arbitrary cap on the number of overdose prevention sites that are allowed to operate in the province, pitting community against community, while the opioid crisis continues to claim lives. With four fatal overdoses in just one day and 30 more close calls, how can the minister justify an arbitrary cap on overdose prevention sites that will leave Windsor without this important life-saving resource. Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. Well, I do thank the member very much for the question. This is a tragic situation. I understand that it is being investigated at several levels, that the, uh, they're particularly concerned because the four deaths um, did not happen together, which sometimes happens. They happen separately. I do understand that the coroner's office is investigating, as is my office. We want to understand exactly what happened here to make sure that we put, put um, procedures in place to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Supplementary. Speaker, with an escalating opioid crisis, we need more sanctioned overdose prevention sites, not fewer. The new application guidelines the ministry has put forward will make it next to impossible for some overdose prevention sites to continue, and the arbitrary cap will make it next to impossible for new sites to open. In Windsor, we need a sanctioned site where people can test their street drugs for fentanyl and other toxic chemicals to avoid more horrific fatalities. We need to fill the gaps in harm reduction-based treatment. We need more outreach workers, and we need more mental health and addiction supports. And, Speaker, most of all, we need a government to recognize these needs and to take action on all fronts. Will the minister commit today to answer our needs in Windsor and to do more to address the opioid crisis in every corner of our province. Minister. Well, I can certainly assure the, the member that we do take the opioid situation very seriously in Ontario and in all parts of Ontario. And in actual fact, as we announced several weeks ago, it is possible for any organization to apply to become a consumption and treatment service operation site that is open to organizations in Windsor, as it is open to other organizations across the province. But it's also really important to remember that while we do have the consumption and treatment service sites available, we also need to make sure that we have appropriate mental health and addiction treatment across the province. That is what we are working on now. That is one of our primary election promises to the people of Ontario. That is why we have committed to spending $3.8 billion over the next 10 years to expand our services, to make sure that we have the Bonds. detox beds, to make sure that we can help provide housing, to make sure that we can provide the treatment services that people need. The consumption and treatment service sites are important, of course, but they are only one part of the bigger picture that we are working on. Thank you. Stop the clock.